Hello everyone and welcome to the Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona. Today we will be exploring two of nature's most incredible wonders, the Petrified Forest and the Painted Desert. The Petrified Forest has two entrances, the North Entrance and the South Entrance. I will be starting at the North Entrance. The North Entrance starts at the Painted Desert. The Petrified Forest and Painted Desert are in the same park. This is Kachina Point in the Painted Desert. It is known for its beautiful palette of reds, purple and orange colors, especially at sunset and sunrise. These colors are a result of many different minerals in the rock layers, shaped by erosion over millions of years. Next we head over to the Painted Desert Inn. Originally it was used as a trading post, then it was turned into an inn. Today this Pueblo style building is a museum. When you step through the doors, you feel transported back in time. Right off the main park road is the ruins of a 1936 Studebaker. This car is part of a Route 66 monument that also includes a vintage car themed concrete bench and a line of historic telephone poles that shows the original Route 66 alignment. Way back before the park was made into a national monument in 1906, it was part of an active travel route. This easy 0.3 mile loop trail takes you through a small native town, including the ruins of their pueblos and very intact petroglyphs. They say that it contains over 100 rooms. It is the largest known archaeological site within the Petrified Forest National Park. Petroglyphs are images created by removing part of a rock surface by incising, carving, picking or braiding as a form of rock art.
This is Blue Meza. At different times of day, you can see a rainbow of blues in these rock formations. The predominant color of the Badlands are blue due to bentonite clay present in the Meza. There was a one mile loop trail that starts at the top of the Meza and goes down to the valley floor. It loops around a semi-circular valley at the very base at the Badlands. I chose not to hike this trail today because the temperature was already over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I will leave this for a future adventure. The next stop was the Agate Bridge. It was originally called a natural bridge. This fossilized, partially exposed petrified log that forms the bridge grew in a subtropical forest over 217 million years ago. A cement support beam was placed under the tree to hold it up. A short drive up the road is the Crystal Forest. It is called the Crystal Forest because the petrified wood that you see here contains beautiful glittery quartz. The Petrified Forest National Park is renowned for its amazing collection of fossilized trees that date back over 200 million years ago. Here you will find the largest and most colorful concentrations of petrified wood in the world. Many of the pieces display vibrant colors due to the presence of various minerals. The petrified wood form when ancient trees were buried by sediment and volcanic ash. Over time, these minerals infiltrated the wood, turning it into stone. The park also has wonderful visitor centers, gift shops, museum, educational programs about the geology and ecology of the region, and so much more. The rangers at the visitor center were very helpful and knowledgeable. I can honestly say that I found this park to be a very nice and enjoyable day trip and will most definitely be back in the near future. I hope that you have enjoyed this tour. See you in the next video.